The debate over police violence continues around the nation and here in western New York. And there is a push now for greater use of body cameras on officers, but some local departments are already embracing the new technology. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Ed Riley has the latest tonight. Well, Keith and Joanna, even before the events in Ferguson, Missouri and Staten Island, New York, some local police departments knew the evolution of police work would mean new technology and the use of body cameras. And now some of those cameras are already in use right here in the Buffalo Niagara region and more are coming soon. First of all, it provides a lot of transparency to the public. Over the past 18 months, officers for the NFTA Transit Police have been wearing these body cameras. It's an accountability. So if an officer does have a situation on the street, it provides uh, an accurate record of what actually took place. It is a voluntary program, and one-third of the force now use the cameras on a regular basis. And the department is finding that it makes for more accurate reports. You can't remember everything that happens. The cameras are turned on and off by the officer, and once recorded, video cannot be erased and has to be downloaded at headquarters. The wearing of body cameras <clears throat> improves the behavior of both the police and the public. The NFT has used body camera video to defend itself against false accusations of wrongdoing. And for them, it's a receipt. You know, if someone charges them with something falsely, they can say, hey, no, I did not do that, and here's the video to prove it. The city of Niagara Falls is now looking to become the next to equip its police force with body cameras. So we've been researching the wear of body cameras for about a year now. On Monday, the city council is being asked to approve a $22,000 request to use casino revenue to purchase 48 body cameras. We can also use these cameras for crime scenes, uh, taking pictures at domestic violence incidents. These cameras function as police radio, have night vision, and can record hours of high-definition audio video. So we just think this is another tool to give us an accurate picture of what actually happened in regards to their complaints so we can better serve the public. Now, if the Niagara Falls City Council approves the police department request, those cameras could be on officers and out on the streets by the first of the year. And the city of Lockport is also looking very closely at getting police body cameras in the very near future also. Reporting live, Ed Riley, 7 Eyewitness News. All right, thanks, Ed. Weather may 